In this lesson, we're going to look at how to solve quadratics using factorization. Factorization is the easiest way to solve a quadratic. Um, obviously, the other methods include using the graph, quadratic formula, completing the square. But if it factorizes, that's definitely the quickest and easiest way to do it. So let's have a look at how to do it. Before you do that, though, I'd recommend you look at the videos on factorization and you know how to factorize a quadratic. If you don't know how to factorize a quadratic, then this is going to be quite a difficult video, so watch that one first. Okay, so let's have a look at our first example. So it's to solve the equation x squared plus 7x plus 10 equals 0. So the first thing you want to do is to factorize the quadratic. Obviously, whenever it equals 0, though, first. Okay, so you factorize the quadratic. So you put bracket, 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 bracket. I uh, should remember how to do this. Uh, if you don't know how to do it, again, watch the video. So you're going to put x at the front of both brackets. Uh, the two numbers will times to give to give you 10. Add to give it to give you 7. So it's going to be plus 5 and plus 2. And that still equals 0. Now, here we've got a bracket, and we're multiplying by another bracket, and we get 0. Now, if two things times together to give you 0, one of them has to be 0. For instance, 5 times 0 equals 0. So, obviously, one of the numbers here has to be 0. So, that means that either this bracket is 0, or this bracket is 0. So, your first answer, let's have a look at this one. So, we've got x plus 5. So, we've got x plus 5 equals 0. So that means that x will equal minus 5 by taking 5 away from both sides. Or you could just look at it and say, well, minus 5 plus 5 is 0. Okay, so x is minus 5. This one, obviously, you know the answer is going to be minus 2, because minus 2 plus 2 is 0. So the x would equal minus 2. Alternatively, you could just write plus x plus 2 equals 0, and then solve it to get x equals minus 2. Okay, so the solutions are x equals minus 2, or x equals minus 5. So we've got our two solutions. This time we're going to solve x squared minus x minus 6 equals 0. So the first thing is to put your two brackets down, put equals 0, and put x at the front of both of them because we're going to factorize this. Uh, so the two numbers will multiply together to give you negative 6 and add together to give you minus 1, minus 1x. One so that means it's going to be minus 3 and plus 2. Minus 3 times 2 is minus 6. Minus 3 plus 2 is minus 1. So that means that either x equals 3, because x minus 3 equals 0, so x equals 3, or x equals minus 2, because minus 2 plus 2 is 0. So that means that there are solutions x equals 3 or x equals minus 2. Okay, this time we've been asked to solve 6x squared plus 13x minus 5 equals 0. So again, factorize this because it equals 0, so I'll try to factorize it. Given this video is on solving using factorization, it does, so it equals 0. Um, you've got 6x squared, so um, if you factorize this, you've got uh, 6x squared plus 13x minus 5. The two numbers will times together to give you minus 5, so one of them is going to have to be 1, one's going to be 5, and a plus and a minus because it's minus 5. And you've got 6x squared, so you could have a 6x and an x, or a 3x and a 2x. So you use your factorization to figure out what it's going to be. Um, if you were to put 3x and 2x and put minus 1 and plus 5, well, that would mean 3x times 2x is 6x squared. 3x times 5 would be 15x. Take away the 2x would be 13x. And the minus 1 times the 5 is then your minus 5. So either this bracket is 0 or this bracket is 0. Now, the other ones, whenever it was just x plus 1 or something like that, you could just see straight away it was minus 1. With these types of 1, I always tend to write down, well, just while you're getting used to it, this equals 0. So 3x minus 1 equals 0. Bring the 1 over to the, or the minus 1 to the other side, so you're going to get 3x equals 1, or add 1 to both sides, sorry. You get 3x equals 1. Divide by 3, both sides, so you're going to get x equals a third. Over here, you've got 2x plus 5 equals 0. So if you take away 5 from both sides, you get 2x equals minus 5. And divide by 2, so you're going to get x equals minus 5 over 2. So that means that either x equals a third, or x equals minus 5 over 2. When you're solving a quadratic, such as this, x squared minus 4x plus 18 equals 4x plus 2, where you're using this factorization method, it's got to equal 0. So that means that you would tend to want to get the x squared to be positive, like here, and you want to then make the other side 0. So let's bring the 4x across the other side and the plus 2 to the other side. Okay, You're going to take away 4x and 2 from both sides. So it's going to give you x squared, Take away another 4x, it would give you minus 8x. And the 18 take away 2 would then be plus 16. 
equals zero. Okay, so if you take 4x away from the 4x, or minus 4x would be minus 8x, and take 2 away from the 18 gives you 16. So then factorize this, so bracket, 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 bracket equals 0. Uh, so you get x and x. So the two numbers times together to give you 16, add together to give you minus 8, so it's going to be minus 4 and minus 4. So actually notice that both of these brackets are the same, so either for this bracket x is 4, or this bracket x is 4. So therefore your answer is just simply this time x equals 4. So this equation, this quadratic only has one solution, x equals 4. Or one repeated solution. Okay, and this time we've got x squared equals 49x. So again, whenever you want to solve using factorization, you want to make it equal 0. And you tend to want to make the x squared be positive. So let's uh, take 49x away from both sides. So you get x squared minus 49x equals 0. Now this time, do you notice this isn't in the typical format of the quadratics with the two brackets whenever you factorize, but notice that both of them have just got x's in them, so this is just going to be basic factorization. You could take x out as a common factor here. So you'd get x bracket x minus 49 equals 0, so just take an x out as a common factor. So that means either this is 0 or this is 0. So if x is 0, well it's sort of simply x equals 0, if that's 0, or this bracket is 0. So that means that x would have to be 49, so or x equals 49. So there are your two solutions, x is 0 or x is 49.